Hello, my name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Today in this video, we're going to take a look at a new topic for this uh, YouTube channel. We're going to take a look at specifically LaTeX, um, the typesetting software. If you are unfamiliar with LaTeX, that would not be surprising. LaTeX is really a highly specialized typesetting open source software that is used by students and scientists normally in the academic field for typesetting documents. In other words, what LaTeX does is that it prepares documents by marking them up. In other words, through a combination of the text that you want to write as well as some sort of markup coding, you are able to tweak the appearance of your documents in very highly fine-tuned ways using this software. Um, for the typical person, this is not practical or useful, and so if you're watching this video, you're, you're more likely con connected with academics, and you're probably a student who has been required to use this software one way or another, especially in the hard science fields, but also particularly in mathematics, because LaTeX is particularly famous for its ability to capture mathematical formulas and equations through the use of the software. So in this video, we're just going to go through how to set up an actual document using LaTeX, a very, very basic document. For details on how to download and install LaTeX, there's many resources on the web that can help you with that. You're going to need the Tech Live download that's available if you um, Google this. And there's several different editors, or what we like to call um, places where you actually type in the code and the, in the, the document that you're going to use. In this particular video and throughout this series, I will probably be using TechWorks. This is what is on the screen right now that you can see. It's probably one of the most basic, simple ones. It's not my favorite by any means, but it's the, one of the most basic ways of using LaTeX inside some sort of an editor environment. So we're already logged in, and so we're going to go through some basics of how to use LaTeX now. Now, in order to use LaTeX, you have to set up some sort of coding that tells LaTeX exactly what you're trying to do. For example, you need to tell LaTeX what type of document you're trying to make, and that involves using some coding. So for us, we're going to use, um, we're going to make a sample, art. we're going to use the, I'm sorry, we're going to use the format for an article, which is very, very common. So to do this, you, took, you take a, a backslash here, uh, or forward slash, whatever you call it. This is right next to the, to, the, uh, to the right bracket on your keyboard. And you want to type in document class. This is telling, uh, you're going to tell LaTeX what type of document you're trying to make. And there are many different classes, you know, articles and books come to mind specifically. And so once you type in this command, you have to use the left curly brace and you have to type in the actual class you're going to use. So for us, we're going to use article for this particular example. So what we've told LaTeX so far is that, hey, we're making a document, and the type of document we're making is an article. Now, everything after that, there's a few things you could put in here. After this, you can put in some things that are also called, are also a part of what we call the preamble. The preamble is kind of coding that you set up before you begin the actual text of your document. Now, for this basic example, we're not going to have a preamble. We're going to go straight to the actual document part, and we're going to use, do that by putting in the command called begin, and then we're going to do curly braces again, document, and a right curly brace. I forgot to mention you have to close out your commands by putting the right curly brace when you're done. So if we were going to put something in the preamble, we would put it here. Just for the sake of practice, we're going to leave this blank. And so right now we're going to begin our document under the begin document command we just put in. So everything that we put in here is going to be in the actual document. In other words, it's going to be stuff that LaTeX will actually compile to make the PDF at the end. Uh, when we're done with our document, we type end and close it out to curly braces. So everything between begin and end is where our actual document is at. Now just for fun, we're going to just make a simple uh, one sentence document or one sentence article, if you will. And we're going to type in, behold the power of the law tech typesetting. That's it. That's all we're going to do. And now that we're done, we want to compile our document. We want to see what it looks like. To do that in tech works, you go right up here to the little green button. I know this is hard to see. And you also want to make sure that from the drop down menu that you select PDF LaTeX as well. When you're satisfied with those two requirements, please click on the green button in the upper left hand corner. 
and you'll get this. You can see right here, this is our document, and you can see how everything is set up just as we wanted it to be. Nice and neat and beautiful. So, as you know, there is much more to how this particular software works and how you can use it to make surprisingly beautiful documents. However, for now, this is all we have time for. So today in this video, we were exposed to an introduction of the use of the LaTeX type setting software. This is an open source software that is freely available on the internet. It's been around for about 25, 30 years or so, and it is commonly used to prepare documents and uh, for the purpose of publications, particularly in the PDF format. Uh, this particular software is more commonly used in the academic settings, although there are other places and other people who use it, but this is primarily for mathematicians in particular and other types of scientists who are trying to prepare documents that involve a lot of customization and maybe some complex equations. So in this uh, particular instance, we just set up a basic document that was an article class we set up our environment, which is the begin document and the end document, and in between those two commands, as you can see right here, we put our actual um, text that we we're going to use. So I hope that this video was helpful for you, and I look forward to continuing to, to go through this journey with you on the use of the LaTeX software. Take care.